Well, good, good. Well, you know, when you get into these losers bracket situations, you have to have a good pitching effort. And uh, we got that from Ben today. And, you know, he gave us a chance not only in today's game, but he gave us a chance to compete tonight. So to only use two pitchers in this game is huge. And, uh, you know, I'm glad the game went fast, too. We'll get out of the sun for a couple hours and go back out there and compete against Michigan. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun experience for our guys tonight. Okay, we're going to open up questions for Ben, and then we'll let Ben go right after. Ben, do I have this right? Is this your second start of the season? Yeah. Okay. To pitch in such a big game like that and to go seven innings, no earned runs, how confident were you and, and what was working so well for you today? Um, I was pretty confident going in. I I've, I've came in relief a couple times for some longer appearances, and it was working. I was just mixing pitches in the zone. It kept them off balance. Should I assume you'll be going nine innings against Michigan in two hours? <laughs> Ben, you ran into a little bit of trouble in the third. You didn't panic. You just kind of you know, got back to, to dealing the way that you were. Um, how were you able to stay calm in a big moment and just kind of trust your stuff? Um, it was only the third inning, so I knew that no matter what happened, our hitters were going to pick me up. And it was just, just keep throwing strikes, and good things will happen. And my defenders made good plays behind me. Did you ever think that you'd be playing a game like this when you are pitching for Iowa Western last year? No. Ben, uh, I look back uh, on your record at uh, Creighton. Is it right that you haven't even lost a game as a pitcher for Creighton? Yeah. Whew, that's something. Um, it must have made uh, Ed pretty confident uh, to start you today then, huh? In such a big game. I mean, is that, uh, I mean, to get that start today, I mean, had a lot of pressure on your shoulders. So what carried you through? Uh, just knowing that my team's going to pick me up the entire game, no matter what happens. It just, it just, it's easy to play when we got a lineup like ours. Any more questions for Ben? Ben, thanks. If you want to step down, you can. Uh, and we'll open up more questions for Coach Service. Ed, uh, since uh, you guys have been here on uh, Friday, the home run has been missing. Uh, from your arsenal, uh, how good was that today to see uh, Will crank one out of the park and give you guys a 3-1 to one lead? Yeah, well, you know, we were down one nothing at the time, and we weren't getting a lot of offense going. It looked like both teams were a little bit tired, to be honest. You know, so we're, they were kind of playing into the game a little bit, waiting for the other team maybe to give them an opportunity. And they gave us an opportunity. And, you know, Will Robertson, who's obviously an excellent hitter at this level, um, is going to be an excellent hitter at the next level as well. Got a hanging breaking ball, and he did what you're supposed to do with a hanging breaking ball. You know, he got out front with it and hooked it into right field. That's the place to hit it in this ballpark, from what I assume. The only balls that are really carrying out are the ones to right field. So we needed that. You could sense once we got that, I think it gave Ben a lot more confidence, too, to continue to pitch another three innings. And then the hitters started to respond a little bit, and we added on. So, um, yeah, Will's hit was, uh, was huge. Uh, one last uh, simple question. When was the last time? You guys made the regional final? Um, we made it in, uh, at UCLA in 2012. 2012? Yep. Okay. In the same scenario, we had to be UCLA twice. I mean, you look at since you guys joined the Big East, you were never really able to beat Xavier um, in order to win the Big East championship. You guys did that. You get Scott Guggins again in a regional, and you beat him again. How satisfying is this? I mean, just kind of the, the demons that you've had for, maybe not demons, but for the past six years, and you've kind of overcome both of them in one season. Well, Scott Guggins is a, a tremendous individual, you know, and uh, he gets the most out of his players. And he did at Xavier, and he's done a heck of a job here. Nobody anticipated they would be here. It's only his second year. So um, I consider him to be a friend. And uh, we've struggled with his teams in the past, you're right. But uh, today, you know, we had an advantage. They played a late night game last night. We were a little fresher than they were. They kind of ran out of gas in the middle part of that game. So, but at this time of year, you don't give anything back. You move on, you, you win, and you advance. And that's what we're trying to do. Uh, who are you going to pitch tonight? Denson Hall will pitch tonight. Okay, Coach, we'll let you get back and we'll get prepared for tonight.